more uh, introductory remarks. Uh, uh, friends, Mr. Aslan now regards Germany as his home, but uh, he was born in Turkey, in the beautiful city of Istanbul, and studied in the United States, now lives in Germany, uh, like many uh, people from uh, Turkey do. That's correct. <clears throat> and, you know, as you might have seen, he's a very athletic person, and I read that his uh, dream was to become a professional footballer and represent, I don't know whether you wanted to represent Turkey or uh, Germany or the United States in world football, but uh, he did achieve his uh, dream to some extent and subsequently as a journalist, you know, he covered uh, the FIFA World Cup that took place in Germany, That's correct. which uh, Germany won. So as someone who, who comes from this very volatile part of Asia and the world, and who knows uh, Europe inside out now, he brings a unique perspective to this problem, which is uh, for Europe the number one problem today. Yes. But it's not just uh, a Europe's problem, it's a problem of the entire world. <clears throat> it's a lesson uh, to the entire world that uh, we should not just tackle the symptoms and the after effects, but we should all together tackle the root problem and that is wars and violence. Europe, especially Germany, responded to this uh, crisis in an in a exemplary way. At the same time, Germany is uh, itself facing many problems because of this crisis. And we in India are very keen to understand this issue from your perspective. I heard that you participated in this wonderful uh, conference that took place in Delhi organized by the Observer Research Foundation and the Ministry of External Affairs, Raisina Dialogue, and shared your uh, views there. And we today have the opportunity to hear you. And we have, uh, we are very eager to listen to you and to also ask you some questions that many of us have in our minds. So let's begin a, a very fruitful interactive session with you. Thank you very much.